try again. Take three. Hello everyone. Welcome to my corner of the internet. Today we're playing some more of an Elder Scrolls Legend Battlespire. We braved the tombs of glitchiness and then we went on board of a, a ship that um, was obviously enchanted to eat our arrows and then we uh, basically scaled this cliff um, oh, okay, so we took the elevator up, but hey, we it's our journey and we can embellish it, uh, the story, uh, however we, we, we please. Um, and now that we are coming up this, this hill, we've actually come across a, uh, um, a helmet. It's not this one, uh, because we already picked up the, the right one, but we picked up the helmet for the Savior's Hide. Uh, this here is the Silver Helmet of Kings, which we had in our pockets, uh, just looking it around for, you know, for kicks and... Um, we've decided to part ways, uh, we... Creative differences, you know? Yeah, we're like, ah, sorry, Silver Helmet, it's not exactly the direction we want to be, um, taking, um, uh, taking this journey, so... We're gonna be leaving that behind. Um, so yeah, we're I figured we would continue, um, exploring this sort of weird fortress kind of thing? Like, we're, we're up here. And, um... Yeah! That's what we're gonna do today. I'm not gonna go that way because there's a big invincible crazy guy with a spear that's probably gonna kill me. Um, because I'm pretty sure I don't have all the pieces of the Savior's Hide. I don't think, anyways. So I'm gonna go this way. Around this side. Even though my health is, you know, actually, yeah, my, my health is kind of butts. Um, I should probably heal. Um, or, or, you know, see, when I made my character, it's like, I, I kind of, I kind of screwed up. I made a character, freaking hope, ah! All right, so when I made my character, um, if you know, if you if you're just jumping ahead to this part, you're just like, I have no interest in. I when I watch Let's Plays, I skip the first 56 episodes of it. I get in because I find that you know they usually get good around number 57. Uh, when we made our character, uh, we uh, gave him the ability to heal over time, and I'll say I want to get the mileage out of that power, like. I want that auto-regenerating health because potions, they're, uh, they're not exactly plentiful, I say, as I literally have a stack of healing potions numbering in the 20s, I believe? Let's, let, let, let me double check here. Cure health 30! 30, 39! I have 39 cure, uh, cure health potions, uh, and some magical items in my inventory that I could use to, uh, to heal me. So, um, actually, I'm gonna drink one. There we go. Just, uh... Okay, fire off your little spells once you're- Darn it! I ate that one too! Alright. Um, are, are you done? Here, if I, if I partially obscure myself behind this, 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 this rock wall, and then you I'll let you- Have you used up all your magic? I'm just gonna try to bait you to use up the rest of it. At the same time, I'm, I'm wasting time so that I can heal. My regenerative powers are taking over. Uh, I don't know what, 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 what I don't know what that means. They're taking over. No, my regenerative powers have now are now sending me towards the enemy. Ah! ah, my regenerative powers suck at this game. No, bad regenerative powers. Ah! All right, what have we learned? We've learned that we never let our regenerative powers do the uh, do uh, you know play player one. Play. We never give them a plugged-in controller. We, we, we never let them play because they, they they don't know how to they they, they just button mash and they're like ha ha and they, they 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 eat spells like that see like that's I'm just gonna blame that on my regenerative powers because um, it, it was their fault ah screw it I'm healing we're, we're double healing what the crap dear RN Jesus please let me win this fight um Hmm, actually, wait a second. I'm curious. <laughs> like, I'm doing the little prayer thing to, to RN Jesus, but then it's like, wait, okay, hold on, hold on. Part of the whole reason I do this whole uh, uh, saving trick, um, you know, when I start the when I start up the game, I go to load, and then I load by dump save over here, and then I save over the dump save. And then I then load the save I actually want to save, and that's it helps me get around the glitch for level five. Now, I'm wondering, uh, without being able to actually look into it and see exactly why that works, I can't quite remember. I think it has to do with uh, keeping track of entities um, in a level. But as we've clearly seen, our character portrait down at the bottom does not reflect the equipment. Now I'm wondering, is this just cosmetic, or 
is it actually looking at our stats as we were at the beginning of the game? Um, I'm kind of curious. Like, are, are we as strong as we were at the beginning of the game, or, uh, like, do I need to actually, like, force it to, um, load my character up? All right, with all the stats. All right, so now, now we, we, we can see it's been updated. We're wearing the helmet. I'm wondering now if, yeah, we still died just as quickly. Um, <laughs> It was just a curiosity! I drank a potion of, of uh, spell reflection and a healing spell. Uh, heal, cure health, sorry. There we go. Hopefully that will do the trick. Wow! He, uh, he took a lot of hits. An ebony curus. Quirus? Quirats. Yes. Uh, which is not as good as what we got. A potion of jumping. Nah, no, I'm good. All right, we don't need any of um, we don't need any of his loot. No, because it's trash. All right, so let's so let's continue. We've made a lot of progress. This is already what like ten minutes into this uh, this recording. Yeah. I I always I always get worried when I when I when I hit walls like that because it's like I <laughs> I have such limited time as it is, and it's like oh, oh I, I I don't want to waste it. I could. <laughs> It's, I can see it. Like I, I put up a video, and people are like, "Hey, look! They they, they put out a um, uh, crap. What do you call those things? Not a collaboration. Holy crap! I I can't think of um, like a supercut thing. Like you make up oh, whatever. Screw it. No, nope, I'm not letting myself hit the ground. I'm not letting myself hit the water or the ground or whatever. <gasps> I didn't save after I wand it. Okay, I did. I did. Okay, I did save. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah. Anyways, all right. So I, I can see people making the joke of like, "Oh look, they made a um. What do you call like a supercut or like a? Uh, what do you call those things? Not a collaboration. Ka starts with the letter C. Is it? It's not a collage. Yes, I've made a collage. I went and I got some magazines and I cut out pictures and I put them up and. I I I I I I reenacted my let's play through magazine collage or something. I don't know what, the, what am I trying to say. Basically, I'm saying I die. I, I I have I could have an episode where I die so much that it might be like one of those. Um, or I'm having Dark Souls flashbacks. I'm getting fired at while trying to go across a narrow sort of way. I'm like uh. Aha! Ah! Aha! Ah, he's getting close, he's getting close. Um... Crap, what do you call those things? Oh, the, what the what? The what? Okay, there's a big door there. Right, come on, come on, I got this! Alright, sorry, the, the, the entire Let's Play is on hold until I can remember that word. It starts with letter C. Not a collection, not a compendium. It's a consolidation. Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> uh, conquest. Collo I already said collage. College. There we go. Color. No. <laughs> That's gonna drive me nuts. Holy crap! I I'm going to go crazy here. I can't remember the word. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. I'm getting. Wow. Um. Okay. Okay. So you know, like, when, like, say someone dies a lot. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work my way through this. I'm gonna talk my way through this. <laughs> this is like the most trash content ever. Like, uh, here I am just dying over and over again, trying to remember a word. Just a, just a basic word. Um, alright. And like, you, 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 you go ahead and you make a video that just sort of like highlights all of every one of the deaths that you had. And you're like, haha, and everyone laughs and it's all good fun laughing at your death. Um... I think I already have a, yeah, I already have one of them. So I'm pretty sure we already read this scroll. Um, 
Yeah, okay, we read that one. Um, okay. Is it high? Um, no, it's not highlights. Um, it's like, uh, yeah. And so basically, it's one of those kind of videos where you just take every instance, um, or even like, yeah, I, I, I can't. I, I maybe maybe there is no word. Maybe I've fabricated some mystical word, like some word that does not exist. Oh. Wait. Oh, I can lower the bridge so I can get back to the mainland so I don't have to keep going back up, up and down the ladder on the back side of the thing. That is cool! Okay, I love that. I love that. Like, like I, I was saying earlier, I was getting some like Dark Souls flashbacks, you know, like the two archers in, Ar uh, in Orlando. And um, now I'm coming to a place that like, and I push a thing that opens up an area that kind of like allows me to loop back to an area I've been before and I'm like yes and like all the comparisons you know to Kingsfield and everything it's all coming back around um yep up yep I love it I love it um you know until uh, until I I die and then I'll be like screaming and ah! again um I keep moving uh I can't- I can't walk the straight line. Alright, uh, there's probably just, um, Spear Guy, right? If I go back around this way, because we saw Spear Guy waiting for us. But... Gotta- gotta, gotta make sure. Uh, before I go and explore the inner part of the, the inner part of this floating crap island, um, I had to go that way. I had to- I had to make sure that that was just Spear Guy. And, uh, confirmed. It, it was just the spear guy. And I suppose, you know, it, it helps me get a little bit more health back. Uh, you know. Traveling. You know, just let my, my natural health regenerate. <sighs> yeah. Um, alright, so we're coming in here. And, uh, there's a house. And what have we got here? Oh. Got a, just a random light. What? What? Oh! Oh! They're all hiding! They're like, aha! It's an ambush! Oh, crap. No! No, 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 no. Potion of spell reflection. Ah, uh, no. Nope, not dying this time. Oh, are you. Are you freaking kidding me? You healed 30 points, and then I drank two potions, and I've I've, I've healed a, a maximum. Or I basically, I've, I healed 20 points. Whatever. Um, I'm stuck. That's cool. I'll just sit here and swing wildly while. Yep, I'm dead. I think what makes it really rough is the fact that um, I have the potions and stuff to survive this. Like, if I wanted to, I could brute force my way through this. I could use all the potions. I could use spell absorption, spell reflection. I could, you know, I, I, I could do all kinds of things. But, then I wouldn't have them for later. And, like, if I can do it with less, I should be doing it with less. I just really need my prayers to R and Jesus to go answered. Like, I, I just need R and Jesus to be like, yes. I, I will bless you with, uh, with good, good, good dice rolls. Good digital dice rolls. Um, that, that's all I, that's all I ask are in Jesus. Ah! Uh, Alright. I kinda, I kinda see how things are going here. Uh, I'm looking at the time. I'm like, eh, This is, um... <sighs> I'm gonna have to just... Take another shot at this. Uh, maybe uh, record this one over two uh, over two sittings because um, it's um, pretty clear that I'm not gonna make uh, we'll say progress that I'm happy with or you know progress period. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, I'm not gonna bother doing my my outro because. This has been trash, so yeah.
just just letting you know if I come back and I have a much different tone, it's like, whoa, what the heck happened? Uh, it's not that my spirit was crushed, uh, although it has been. Uh, it's just that, um, nope, I'm cutting past me off right there. Dear God, what kind of mental state was I in in that last recording? Like, <laughs> compilation. That, that, that's, um, that's a pretty common word for me to completely blank on, but, um, hey, <laughs> that happened, or, or did it, or maybe, maybe I'll just edit out everything, and then, uh, everyone will continue thinking that I am infallible, uh, which I totally am, right, uh, right, so let's get back to, um, our adventuring, uh, we put down the drawbridge, which leads us across over to, uh, this little out part, which, uh, I don't think we're ready to go to yet, so I say we, uh, go in here, we, we look, oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, I died, I died, got, get, get into a fight with some of these fellows last time. So this time here, guess what we're gonna do? That's right, we're gonna get ourselves killed again! But this time, it'll be fun. See, see, wasn't that fun? I mean, I'm having fun, are you having fun? Come on, guys, let's have some fun! Yeah, just yeah, shoot spells. Oh, 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 you got past me. You got past me. That's right, keep shooting them spells. And, uh, oh, oh, crap, crap, crap. My spell reflection wore off. Nope! Before he has a chance to. Ha <laughs> ha! They're hitting themselves and they're not hitting me because they. Okay, sure. See, oh man, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting, um, you know what, screw it, I'm saving. Right in the middle of the fight? That, that, that's craziness. Yes, right here in the middle of the fight. I like to live dangerously. Um, you know, my, my whole, like, my, my whole thing where I'm like, we're not going to kill anything that is not fighting. Um, it, that gets kind of, um, murky, or a little bit dangerous when, um, when the enemy's sort of sitting back and just preparing their spell or something, you know, it's like, oh, are they going to, uh, are, are, oh, are, are they going to stop fighting us? And it's like, no, 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 they're just, they're just waiting for an opening to fry your brain. That's right, fry your brains. They are, they, they are, they are gourmet chef zombies. That's right. They're like, hey, um... Uh, I, I, I'm not just gonna just eat any brain. No, 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 no. I need to make sure that the brains are only of the finest caliber and prepared to my exact specifications. Dear. Stop! Seriously. I, okay, whatever. I'm drinking potions. Oh, what, 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 we got, we got, oh, we got more? Okay, Frost Aedra dies. Um, I don't feel like, uh, dying again. Nope, I'm, 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 I'm in a very different mood than I was last time. Last time I was like, last time I was, I, I was struggling, I think. I was like, uh, I need to record, because, you know, time's so limited, so I'm just like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Let's, let's go ahead and give it a shot, and, phew, that was a shot. Uh, Potion of Restoration. I can't remember what that does. Is that is that the is that the the magic one? I think it's the magic one. So your spell points have been restored. Awesome. So now I can steal very tiny amount of health back from you. Totally worth it. Uh yeah, I was gonna say I, I heard something in my ear. There was definitely someone coming to flank me. Long blade skill has increased. Holy crap, we're doing great. You know what? Lex knows, man. He can feel it. He feels the energy. He's like, whoa, my player's like totally into this. I'm like, yes, we are into this, Lex. We're going to like slay all of the things. And I think we kind of did, whoa, Mithril Boot. But it's not. Huh. This has a, this has a magical property to it, but it's a little bit more beat up. But still. Good boot. If we had, if we hadn't already had one, that would have been a very fine boot. You know, I've got, I've got, I've got to ask. I, well, no, I don't have to ask, but you know, I, I, I've got to wonder. Um, 
it's something that that's I sort of I've wondered about, I've thought about, um, and that's like the idea of sizes, like clothing and crap like that. Now, I get that in more of a medieval or like a fantasy type setting. You know, clothes. You know what? I'm I'm actually not even sure. Maybe, maybe I'm pulling this out of my derriere here, but um, I'm going with the assumption that you know, clothes was just generally made larger. You know, uh, that and then it could be like sort of fastened up closely. Like that, that's my understanding. There's no, the, I'm sure there was some sort of tailoring, but not necessarily. Like depending on, we'll say your class. Obviously, you, I don't mean I don't, I don't mean like RPG class. I mean like class in society. Uh, you'd be able to afford, um, you know, better or worse tailoring. But um, yeah, I, I've, I've, I've kind of wondered about that because I know Morwen played a little bit with. Um, not allowing uh, the beast races to wear boots. Darn it! But like, what about the idea of like actual like foot sizes? Like, if you're wearing the wrong size shoes, you know that can hurt. You know that can be a pain. So like, you know, wh wh why why are all why is everyone's feet the same size? And obviously, you know, I know the answer is you know for. You know, for simplicity's sake, does that add anything to the game? Yes! Victory! Um, like, you know, obviously, like, some things need to be, we'll say, sacrificed. Some, some bits of logic or, you know, sense need to be, you know, just discarded for the sake of playability and just fun. Um, but... What, but what if your idea of fun is questioning everything? All right, so we're inside the uh, large barn thing. Yeah, this is a barn, right? I think that's like hails of hails of bay. These are hails of bay. Yes, that is what I believe that those things are. Those hails of bay. I'm going to go ahead and um, try. I can't get to this. You know what? Gotta use up some of these arrows, right? I have no more arrows ready. Because my stacks got all weirdified. Let's go load another minus one iron arrow. Alright, there we go. I managed to somehow stack them again. Hooray! I've stacked my arrows. Let's, um... Switch over. There we go. Like, why can't I just leave the enemy be? Like, this obviously can't get to me. But I'm like, no. No. That's not how this works. That is not how any of this works. You, you go into the dungeon, and you have a, have a chat about how you're, a, <laughs> how you're kind of a pacifist, and then you be, act all hypocritical when you're like, well, that the enemy clearly would kill me if it ever got out of this thing, and then you, uh, you, you kill the cornered enemy because you are are a horrible, horrible human being who wants loot. Yep, that's that's basically it. That is it. I am I am terrible. I'm actually I'm, I you know I actually this, I have bothered myself right now. I'm just like, <sighs> yep. All right. Well, anyways. Uh, there's some potions over here. A bag. A bag. Um, nothing of interest. Some arrows. Steel arrows. Cool. Uh, but to be able to pick any of that up, I need to drop other things. So why don't I just, um... Can I climb up this ladder? No. Can I cl jump up the ladder? I can actually kind of jump up the ladder. All right, well, this is terror bad. Uh, no more arrows ready. Okay, I gotta jump all the way up. All right, I have I have made it to the top. All right, I can't hit you from there. Uh, if I jump up on the railing, ha uh -huh. ha! Come, man, I am uh, I'm doing pretty good. Nothing of interest there. Any other 
Loot. Ooh, there's some bear. Oh, no, no, I fell. I fell. I fell. No, 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 don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're not getting stuck. I just need to see if there's any loot over here. By these. Holy crap, I almost said it again. Bales of hay. There we go. I said it correctly. Um, and, um, what kind of potions we got? Let me guys cure, po uh, cure health, <gasps> cure health, cure health, cure Who would have guessed? Like, the game would want to give me cure health potions. I, 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 I do notice, like, when there, there's a large concentration of potions, just, like, on, on the ground, it's usually the game being like, okay, uh, yep, I know, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a, ba I'm a bad friend here. Um, can I just stack my cure healths? No? No, you're not gonna let me do that. Okay, I'll, I'll just I'll just throw them in my bag then. My bag, my bag, bag, my bag, bag. They're in my potion bag. Uh, steel arrows, elven arrow. All right, grab those potions. We'll drop down. Come over here. Uh, I don't think there's anything really else. I was kind of hoping there'd be something else in here, but you know, I'll I'll take it. You know, there's they've they've got to be able they've got to be able to have one place where they can just provide you healing items, right? Not everything needs to be all right. I found the key. Yes, we're making so much progress. Like, you you've got to have some you know some bits of loot that are just there to make your life easier, right? It's not necessarily that they they don't all have to be about progress. All right, cool. We grabbed all of the loot. We killed all of the things, and we saved all of the games. That's right, we saved them! All the games that were being held hostage. Lex Word, savior of games. Which is kind of ironic, because we're, we're literally literally in a level. <gasps> that kills save games! That's what this place is! This is the place where save games go to die! <gasps> if you've ever lost a save game, we are in save game hell. All right, well let's let's go let's go take a look around save game hell. Let's see if we can find some. Some crap I may have. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm saving. I'm saving before I do something here because. You know, these old games, sometimes they let, they let you get away with stuff. Can I can I trigger the the blade while I'm still while, I, while I'm under it? Uh here here. I'll, I'll, okay, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Why are there bones in there? <laughs> I'm picturing somebody, you know, having their head removed and like they don't have a skull. Instead, they have a like this weird femur kind of like just regular bone in their head. That's their head bone. All right, now I'm standing right under it. I I need to I need to test. This thing's defective. Oh, it hurts about going on the way back up. And can I also add how funny it is that the blood is on the top of the blade rather than on the bottom? Ah, uh, okay. And I'm. Whoa. Stuck in somewhere. Uh, if I jump, uh, I will. All right, I will be freed. Um. Ow. All right. Uh, what have we got over here? <gasps> There's something in there. A d whoa! <laughs> AC of eight. Holy crap! I'd be an idiot to not take that. If I take this off, though, is it gonna like? Yeah, that's what I figured. Ah, uh, stupid arrows. All right, here we go. Equipped. It doesn't. Wait, uh, did I, I equipped the wrong one. I'm an idiot. I'm like, that looks kind of like the wrong thing. Nowhere to go. What? Hold on. Okay, there we go. It's in my. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. Now we have it on, right? <laughs> Can confirm. Daedric? Okay. Yes. All right, we're good. Now I shall take my arrows back. All right, we're just going to leave our stuff there. <gasps> All right, so we, we gained a, a solid, uh, what? What was it before? Five? 
We gained like a solid three points of AC with that uh, that upgrade. That I'm hoping that adds to our survivability. Sweet. All right. Uh, looks like I'm going to be passing it off again to uh, other future me because I got to um, go right now. So um, past me sucked. Present soon to be past me. Second past me. We'll see how I we'll see we'll see how I turn out. We'll see how future me turns out to be. Hi, future me. How are you doing? Wow, that looks really messed up. Oh right. Oh, that's right. Cause we loaded in the thing. Uh, so if I wait, if I go into a location and then back out, it should presumably fix the the. I'm, 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 it's really messing with my. Uh, it's really messing with me seeing like. Uh, as the uh, the exterior the exterior has the um, the skybox of um, the first level and it's really looking weird and for whatever reason it that is interfering with my ability to parse and sort of really tell what the what I'm looking at I'm like ha huh? a mithril gauntlet we already upgraded our gauntlet though so we're good oh man Daedric helmet an AC5, but it doesn't have the nice little added bonus of the Assured Swimmer, which we'll probably never use because um, in this game here, we, actually, yeah, that's, uh, that is kind of strange. In this game here, we seem to be a little bit more hesitant to use um, item skills, item abilities. Um, because if you, uh, yeah, use a different save, yeah, 53. 53 you've you've been safe for long enough uh, 57 foot dash three because this is part three of the same of the one episode that's right one one episode one part in three parts this is now officially episode three and three uh, one ninth yes we're, 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 we're I'm gonna start titling <laughs> I'm gonna start numbering my my uh, my let's play episodes like uh, Kingdom Heart uh, game titles. This is Battlespire 1 and 1 ninth. Sure. That works. Um, in badly faded ink, on parchment yellowed with age, for any unfortunate pursued by the hunt, know that you are not alone. I feel pretty alone. That you have a friend in this desolate place. Well, who, who are they? For the moment, my croft cottage is safe from the hunters. Find me there, in the middle of the moor, away to the north. I can offer you shelter and respite, 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 uh, something like that. But come quickly, for every day I feel my strength fading. Yee! See, this is obviously um, old man Cedric. That's totally his name. I can't remember his actual name, so I'm gonna call him Cedric because he's he he strikes me as a Cedric. You know, the wise old annoying owl. Yes. Uh, holy crap, dude! What the? Uh, uh, I'm out the door. I'm, I'm, uh, I, I, I forgot. Okay, what do I do? How do I get out the door? Is there a button? I can't remember how to interact with things. There, I'll just click on it. <laughs> holy crap, that thing totally just startled me. It just surprised me. Like, okay, was the thing honestly right there uh, when, uh, and then, like, it just attacked me, or was it like, does time pass a little bit while you're, like, reading and stuff? Because this is the second time where we, I've come back from, like, looking at something or reading something. Yeah. It's not the inventory. It's when I'm reading something, I tend to get, uh, tend to get hit. Because when I grab the, um, the armor of the Savior's Hide under the, uh, the dock, and I drowned, it was after I was reading the thing, was it not? Ah, so that's when time continues because there, there's no way that that enemy was standing there right as I was about to read the paper. He must have walked over while I was reading it. But the attack, the attacking, we'll say, animation and all, you know, the the the, the part of the code that would cause the enemy to attack me was not triggered uh, or triggering while I was reading. Okay. Um. Hmm. I love how panicked I got. Oh, I'm dead. 
My dodging skill increased though. So you know what? Because my 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 skill in dodging increased, I'm actually gonna try to heal myself and try to win this fight. Because um, I don't know. I do I just don't feel like loading my game. Yep, that's it. That's it. Out of laziness, I am just gonna use the the tools at my disposal to win. Go me. Blah blah blah, we've read that scroll already. Alright, let's uh let's save before we uh continue on with our little um our little journey. You know, I am fascinated. Oh wait, no, sorry. Ah, uh, I wanted to finish my, my thought. Uh, I find it kind of, um... Oh, crap. I was, I was, I was about to go on, about, uh, go on about something. Uh, in, um... Oh, yeah, I just wanted to finish my thought about how, like, in Daggerfall, um, we basically survived off of, like, enchanted items. And, uh, oh, the mirror's broke. That's actually kind of cool looking. You know, as far as, like, weird textures and stuff go in, uh... In, in Battlefield, for whatever reason, I find this interesting looking. I mean, there are some other decent looking textures and stuff, but I don't know. Maybe that maybe it's just that that one stands out to me. It's like it's 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 different than like anything we've seen up till now. Like, are there any other broken mirrors in uh, other Elder Scrolls games? Like, really? Sir, I'm curious. Anyways, um, I'm kind of fascinated with um. With where Battlespire is taking us, like, just story-wise, it's, uh... Where? Is there anything here? Oh, please, please... Is, was that the whole purpose of, the uh, this... Place was just so that I could find the scroll so that... Old man came here. Ah, darn, I remembered his name. I was kind of hoping I could just keep calling him Cedric. But now that now that I remember it, I can in good good conscience keep calling him Cedric. All right. Uh good man, Chimere, whatever. Um there was there was the, the note there. I guess Oh, there's this other hey, 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 don't don't be hasty. There are other buildings you can um explore the interiors of. Like that one is clearly something. Yeah, that's the last one we're gonna go to. It's a big like the you know there's something big big and bad in there. So let's go into these other smaller buildings first. Um. Ah. Darn it. I, I. He didn't look like he was moving. And. I'm feeling bad, man. Like. Like, I, I don't know. I've, I, I've got this. What is going on? Oh. Oh. I thought there was, like, someone crawling on the floor just because of the way, um. You couldn't see the, you could only see the bottom part of the, uh, the, uh, fire danger. So I was like, what the heck? There's like someone crawling on the floor behind. I was like, oh, this is, this is interesting. This is something. No, it's just, this just the gap in the door. Come on. No, 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 no. Can't let him. I'm gonna hide behind this chair and you can't get me from over there. Okay, he's just gonna go back behind the, the counter. Um, but I, I kind of like where, um, where Battlespire is taking us. Now, the Elder Scrolls games, um, like, I've, I've beaten, wow, I've actually, I've actually, I can actually say I've beaten, uh, uh the, the first three, technically. Yes! Um, well, you know, the numbered ones. Morrowind, Arena, Daggerfall. Um, so... Alright, you just keep rocking out there, uh, Fire Daedra. Um... And in the... Let's, let, me, let me see. The first one, kind of, uh... It was, you know, a story is very political, you know. Big, bad, battle mage guy and stuff. Um, and you know, parts of the story get, uh, retconned a little bit, um... In Morrowind, uh, Daggerfall largely feels very political as well. Um, and then Morrowind, we start to we start to play with the gods a bit. But you know, before Morrowind, there was you know I can't I'm gonna have to yeah, I'm gonna have to arrow you. Aha. Um, but before Morrowind, there was Battlespire, and in Battlespire, 
Um, what I really enjoy is um, how they they're, they're telling a, 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 this sort of story of gods that we tend to only get in like lore books in, in a kind of way like we're, we're kind of passing through areas that are described in books because like I've always been fascinated by like say uh, you know you read mythology like Greek mythology and all these other like like sort of like religious texts and stuff and um, there's always like these you know and then so and so did this and you're, you're thinking about this and you're like okay, hold on uh, any unfortunate, uh, yeah, we've already read that. You know, like, uh, th there's, there's all these, like, literal things, like, oh, and, this, like, then they, they created this, and then they created the world by lifting up this. You know, even, like, like, uh, the Christian Bible. Like, if you, like, look at the, uh, the stories in there, at the start, it's like, and then so-and-so, and by so-and-so, I, I mean God, but we're just gonna call him so-and-so for now. Um... You know, he moved across the face of the earth, and then uh, just he he took some dirt, like he, he separated this from this, and then he took some dirt and he used that to create stuff. Like you know, it's it's like it's, it's got this sort of mechanical feel to it. Uh, interesting. These are functional. Is there a reason why they're functional? Huh. Is that just... That can't be just for a show, right? Maybe that... Hmm. Maybe that plays into things somehow, later. I don't know, maybe there's like a secret door behind there or something, and I'm like, ah! If I pull on this one, and I pull on this one, and I do different combinations of that, which I've basically already done, it'll probably do nothing. Alright, I'm gonna leave. Um... But yeah, like, you, you get that story, uh, and it's like, a lot of these stories, they, they work in these, these tellings of these myths, of these legends. But when you actually stop and actually try to consider what those stories would look like, you're like, well, you know, as somebody who grew up in a very, in sort of like a, uh, that, that, that sort of Christian household, you know, you got, I got, I got fed a lot of stuff about, you know, how, like, God was almighty and he like, just spoke things into to to being and I'm like well if you actually read the book like he nah, he got down he like he, he started crafting you know he he crafted humans out of dirt like there was there's a there's a there's a there's a process there and I'm fascinated by the I guess depowered um approach to telling stories about gods uh, and depowered in the way that like there's an actual process, and you, like, I'm fascinated by like, um, was it like Atlas or something who like could carry the world on his back, or maybe 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 I've got that. Maybe I'm remembering that part wrong. I seem to remember something like that, but uh, like, that's a very like uh, d detect invisibility. Do I need that? I mean, it, it could help, right? Yeah, I'll grab it. Um, but yeah, rather than just like, oh, and then some god is so powerful, he just goes ahead and does stuff. You've actually got these like weird stories of like, and then they went and they did this and this, this physical action, and you're like, well, how does that even work? Like, how does that make sense? And um, I don't know. There's like, a, there's a weirdness to telling these mythological stories like that and we kind of have that here in in Battlespire like we are in a place that is sort of the place of legend a place of myth um with a, a, an actual person who bested um was it Meryn's Dagon like I, I'm already forgetting names um like we have we are we are right here with the person who used the um, armor of the savior's hide to best Meru's Dagon. Like, there's, there's a... Right, this area is uh, proving to be once again um, unkind to arrows. Uh, so I'm gonna have to 
leave the house um, and do this crap again. Um, I'm actually really annoyed that I'm not ex ex because I, I know I'm not I, uh, I know I'm not explaining my um, my point right. Like I, I know that I I am failing to convey the the idea that I have in my head about um, but what I'm trying to trying to say. Wait, that's it? Where'd all the arrows go? Okay, there, there we go. I, I thought I had lost them all. Like, no. Um, but yeah, like there's always this weird sort of disconnect between maybe, maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just, you know, me. Um, like I said, because I had that, that sort of that upbringing of like oh, it's all powerful and just with a single word that these stories of like gods have to do things like the creation of things. Uh, more in a, in a more manual fashion uh, and the stories of you know gods having to do that um, the, these beings of, of supposedly limitless power find themselves kind of limited in the way that they have to do things using relics and like locations and stuff to be able to it, it, they, they, they almost come across as just really powerful like um like magicians and stuff like that, than actually being like gods. They're just like god tier spellcasters in a way, and they they know some crazy magic that allows them to like bend reality in a way. But it, at the like, but they're not like I don't know. I, I don't know how else, how else to word it. But anyways, I find it kind of cool that we we are in. That's cool. Huh. So that opens. What's the purpose of that? I'm gonna leave it open because I suspect it, um, it's like a switch. I suspect it's something that is going to alter something in here. Crap. Let me back it. Well, okay. I'm getting turned around. Wait, were the stairs like that before? Let me take a look. Oh wait, this is a different set of stairs. All right, let me go back to the start. Yeah, this is what I was thinking. Oh. Wait, was that there before? Am I going Huh. I'm just going crazy. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, there's a trap door here. I'm now up on top and- I am the Huntsman. I hunt you in accordance with the laws of the Wild Hunt. Tremble before your death. Okay. Now you want to talk? Okay, cool. I'm quaking in my boots. I guarantee you, now. How about calling off this hunt? I think I could make it worth your while. Is there any way, short of killing you, that I can persuade you to let me use the gate out of here? Or, look, I'm on my way to the Havoc w Wellhead. I am? I guess I am, sure. I'm going past you, or through you. You think you're invulnerable? But the secret surprise is that I can knock you so far into oblivion that even your kin forget your name. You know what? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's like, you know, if it was first part of the episode me or second part of the episode me, I, I think I would have been like, I don't know. This is, you know, the more passive sort of thing. But right now I'm kind of feeling sassy. I'm like, look, I'm on my way to the Havoc Wellhead. I'm going past you or through you. And you think you're invulnerable, but you're not. That's right. Because I don't have what needed to beat you yet maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the bottom one sure let's try it how do you expect me to fall for such an obvious bluff because as you may know on this island is the only mortal I know who has ever bested Dagon and guess who has vouchsafed vouchsafed me the secret of your inevitable doom boom 
You waste your breath and my patience. Die, mortal. You're right, I'm wasting my breath. Goodbye! Okay, you know what? Let's let's try something. I'm, I'm I feel like I'm about to die. I, I feel like I am about to die, but you know what? Let's let's just give it a good shot. Um, let's go ahead and put on our armor. Let's let's throw on Savior's hide. There's that. There's the gauntlet of the Savior's hide. It's I know it's worse than what we've got, but. Apparently this crap is good at stopping his spear. So I know we've only got three pieces. I don't remember if there were more. I hope there were no more. Let's give it a shot. Let's go, man! Let's do this! Alright, noted. Uh, so the little place we went into um, was not the big scary place. But it still had the big scary dude. Cool. All right, you know that's gonna have to do it for part three. <laughs> I'm gonna slap all these three together, and you should get some monstrosity of an episode. And we'll see how that turned out. Um, yeah, I might actually experiment with doing stuff like that. Um, uh, just, just trying to find like little 15 minute segments during the day if I can like just escape off to my computer to record like 15 minutes at a time, uh, and see if I can just sort of like string them together, to, and that way there I can maybe. I don't know, make things a little bit more frequent. I don't know. I'm 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 really fighting with trying to get enough time to put these out more regularly, a little bit quicker and stuff. So, yeah, this was my attempt. We we will see how it turned out. Yeah. Um, if you liked the video, if you like the approach, which I did, like, ideally just I wouldn't have to do, but you know, it, it just happened, and I'm like, I eh, will try it. Uh, if you happen to like it, yeah, give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, all right, you leave it a thumbs down. Uh, either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. Next time, we're going to explore a little bit more up at the top of the cliff. Maybe look for some more pieces of the armor, or maybe kill the dude. Probably not. Uh, look for the other key. We need the other key, so that's definitely the thing we need to track down. We're gonna, we're gonna do, we're gonna do all kinds of things. But until then, until then, you know, you know we're, we're not, we're not doing that just yet. Uh, I uh, will need to ask you all in the present tense and somewhat the future to game on. <laughs>